Docking is when you join two spacecraft together. The sixth degree of freedom dynamic test system uh, has the ability to simulate a spacecraft or two spacecraft mating together. The docking systems uh, are used for crewed spacecraft, so when they're coming into the space station, um, they need to be able to come directly in contact with the space station without using a robotic arm. The, the purpose of the mechanism is to take out the misalignment. In other words, or the autopilot can only fly the docking interfaces together with a certain amount of accuracy, something we call lateral side-to-side -side position. Six degrees of freedom is um, what we talk about when we're talking about the translational and orientation motion of a system. So translational would be moving in X, Y, Z, which is forward and back, side to side, and up and down. And then the rotational part of that would be pitching, yawing, and rolling. This particular approach that we're using the sixth off is to anchor the model. In other words, um, we are trying to validate or verify that the models are for mating two spacecraft. Test a number of different vehicles and their docking systems. And um, some of those docking systems include the one that's on the SpaceX Dragon, the Crew Dragon. Um, we're also looking at the Boeing CST-100 docking system. And we've also done some other docking systems like the European Space Agency docking system as well. The sixth off can be used for other things. We utilize it to test uh, sensors, uh, primary docking sensors. If you want to achieve uh, autonomous docking, uh, the sensors can give you relative position between the two spacecrafts. The facility that we test the docking systems in was originally developed for the Apollo Soyuz test project back in the early 70s. And uh, it was very important at that point to test the two pieces of hardware from the Americans and the Russians that were coming together for the first time in space to do this handshake on orbit. So nowadays on the International Space Station, we do the same thing. We bring the hardware in and we test it, the passive and the active side of this docking system to find out if it's going to work properly on orbit. So we get ideas before we actually launch it um, of how it performs on orbit.